there, magical soul family. Welcome back to the Wild Mystics. Uh, this is Esso Luna, and today we are asking, what are your spirit guides trying to tell you? And so today we have three piles to choose from. Uh, the first pile, we have this beautiful uh, Labradorite pendant, which is carved from a beautiful piece of uh, ash bark found in the woods. And this is a beautiful moonstone for pile two, which is carved into an ash, uh, ash bark piece, and it has upcycled uh, white fur. Most of our materials are upcycled or found in the woods. Um, and pile three is this beautiful carved pentacle um, pendant, which has upcycled leather, Scottish Highland uh, marble here, and this beautiful quartz tip with the um, moss detail. So these three pendants and many others are available on our Etsy shop so if you're interested I'll put a link in the description below and you can go and check those out. Um, I will give you a moment to choose which pile resonates with you and I will see you soon. Bye! Hi there pile one! If you chose this beautiful uh, Labradorite carved pendant then this is going to be your reading. So, I will put your the pen in here, just so you can see it still. Okay, so, first we're going to do um, some oracle messages, just to get uh, a general overview of your energy. Um, and then we're going to do some tarot with the Heaven and Earth tarot cards. Which are here. Okay, so pile one. Let's start with your uh, Shaman's Dream oracle card. And I will link all of the decks in the bottom so that you can know which decks these beautiful cards are from. So this is the Shaman's Dream, and we have the Benefactor for your first card. And then we have, from the Wisdom of the Avalon Oracle, the Spider. And then from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms, we have the Eagle King and from the oh we have actually two so it's interesting in each in each pile actually a few cards a few extras came out so for this one we got two from the wisdom of the hidden realms so we have the Sun Dancers and the Eagle King so I think I'm just gonna put those on either side there the spider card can go down here uh, just to kind of fit it. Sorry that they're having trouble fitting in. And then we have a Moonology card too, but I'll wait until the end to maybe reveal this one. Okay, I'll just put that there for the... well, I'll put it off camera for the moment. Okay, so what I'm getting here, Pow One, from this energy is that I think that you are a very generous soul. It seems like you are extremely giving, and I think that maybe sometimes you are maybe a little bit too giving of your time, but what Spirit is trying to say, especially with this card, um, Grace and Generosity, is that everything that you give to the world, you are going to be receiving ten times over. Okay, so anything, anything that you, any energy that you put into another, you will be receiving that back in some form or another. And so... With the Sun Dancers card, this is joyful activity, celebration of life and abundance. All of that energy that you have been either giving into others or putting into creative projects, you are about to see that abundance. Spirit is telling you that you are on the right track to having all of your hopes and dreams be fulfilled. So this is talking all about abundance and the spider is all about crafting, right? Weaving a web, crafting creative projects. And so if you've been putting a lot of energy and time into something, whether it's a person or whether it's some sort of creative endeavor, maybe you're very artistic, um, it's telling you to just keep going, keep doing what you're doing, keep putting that energy in because you are going to see um, the rewards very soon. And so uh, the big picture, angelic help, is saying to you that your angels are there. Spirit is always there to help guide you in whatever form. And so all you need to do is ask. If you're feeling confused or you don't know if, you know, maybe you're wondering, like, should I put my energy into this creative project or should I put my energy into this? 
spirit is saying, your spirit guides are saying that you only need to ask uh, your angels for help, your spirit guides for help. These two little mice here in the, in the top, I'm sorry, there's a glare, but you can kind of see them there. It's showing that you have friends and family, you have people around to help give you what you need. You know, you, you have the support that you need to keep giving, okay? It's, Spirit is telling you to focus your energy on creative, on the creative, okay? So if you are an artist or if you um, feel inspired to put your energy into some sort of project, maybe, maybe you love gardening, maybe you love um, building, maybe you, maybe you love painting or music or dance, like it could be anything. Spirit, the spirits are encouraging you to do that. If you've been noticing spiders lately, maybe, like, I don't know, it's winter where I am right now, so all of the spiders are inside the house, so if you've been noticing um, little spiders around, that's maybe a confirmation um, of your spirit guides telling you, like, hey, you really, really need to kind of embody, like, that spider-like energy and start crafting, start weaving, you know, even more with your projects. And again, it's telling you, like, there is some beautiful bounty coming in. There is this abundance. And you're going to be able to celebrate, like, all that you've worked for. Like, it's incredible. Like, I'm so excited for you guys. Like, you guys are coming into some beautiful abundance. So just keep, just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep inspiring others and being inspired. And it's beautiful. Okay, let's see what your Moonology card is. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Okay, so this is all about... Here, I'll just move this guy up here. I know that it's kind of out of the picture. We'll just put that there. So this is all about um, connecting with your intuitive and psychic abilities, I believe. You know, Pisces is the water sign, right? So it's going into your emotions, but also connecting with the higher dimensions of yourself but in a practical way. And so a lot of the time for creators, artists, um, actors, musicians, whoever, um, artists often have trouble taking their ideas and um, crafting them into material form. There's this, there's the idea, which is this magical, um, potentially unrealistic idea, and then to craft that into material form. That's, that's a really challenging thing. So Full Moon in Pisces is just telling you to balance that. So maybe it's important that you spend time meditating and connecting with your higher self. You know, the angels are in the higher realms to help guide you. So by meditating, you could actually help connect with those angels and get the guidance that they're wanting to give you. They're talking about the bigger picture. They're talking about the the overall um, the overall expansion of your soul. Like they're not talking about the little things. They're 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 talking about about your vast um, expression on on maybe even like a, a global scale. Like I don't know, but it seems like you have a lot to offer, and so. Yeah, you just need to really balance, and I think that will make you an incredible conduit for this beautiful creative expression. But yeah, you, you definitely, we all have to stay balanced, you know? We're all multidimensional beings living in a 3D physical form, and it's, it can be challenging, so. Okay, beautiful. We're going to go into your um, tarot cards now, which I have not pre-shuffled, pre so we're going to shuffle those on camera. I just shuffled all the oracle cards earlier because it does take some time. So I'll put these cards over here. Hopefully we have room. Um, it's kind of zoomed in, but... Okay, so we're going to be using Heaven and Earth tarot cards. These are really beautiful. You'll see. Absolutely beautiful. I'll include the link in the... Oh, holy smokes. Okay, Spirit, I didn't even get a chance to ask you, but Spirit's very, very encouraging. Okay, so... We have the sun as your first energy coming out, which is kind of incredible. Here, I'll just give you a little... The sun, which is all about creativity, all about expression and love, and just oh, overflowing with just this beautiful, beautiful abundance again, because the sun is all about creation and abundance and love. And the second card we have here is great strength. And again, the sun is... <laughs> We all know that the sun is basically the giver of all life, so the sun is an incredibly strong card. And then we have the nine of wands, which 
which is great strength. So you're building this this armor, this this magical armor to be able to come into your creative potential. That's what this seems like. Of course, we'll clarify. But spirit, let's let's get another another, please. Can we get another? Cards? Oh, they are flying all over the place. Oh wow, that flew very far. Okay. The Hermit. What did we say? So the Hermit is all about going within, going into those shadow realms and finding um, finding that inspiration, finding that inner wisdom inside before sharing it with the world. So often going in, going within can be a very, it can be a very um, difficult journey to go within, but the abundance that you get you know, the magic that you get after going within and going on all these journeys um, within your subconscious mind, they are some of the most fruitful um, wisdom that you can get. So, yeah, the, the Hermit is all about connecting on a deeply, deeply spiritual level. All right, let's get another card, Spirit. I should have, <laughs> I should have just gone with that as the final one. We're running into space, but I felt called to do another, so Spirit, can I get one more, please, for Pile 1? One more, Spirit, for Pile 1. One more. Alright, what do we got here? Alright. My goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay. The Lovers. Beautiful. And what is our bottom deck energy? Okay, the bottom deck energy is... The Eight of Swords. Interesting. It's not that I want to cover up the beautiful benefactor there with this kind of um, chained up fellow, but we're going to go into this and we're going to figure out this energy. So we've got a lot of positive elements here with regards to these two major arcana. You've got, you know, you've got this expression here, which is the sun, you know, showing off this beautiful creative um, being that you truly are. And then you've got the Hermit, which is all about going within to thus express this, okay? And then we have the Lovers, which I see the Lovers a lot as, if if not in a romantic setting, because this could be to do with some sort of romantic, um, uh, romantic connection, but I do think that it's all about balancing, like we taught, balancing um, the inner and the inner realm and the outer realm, you know, the masculine and the feminine energies within, and... Um, you know, the lovers is all about um, expression, you know, it's all about coming together and then creating a new, right? So it seems like there, as the bottom deck energy, this, this eight of swords, it's like, there's still this fear here. There's still this fear that you are not good enough to show your creativity to the world. Maybe you, maybe you don't think that you're you're second guessing yourself, maybe. Maybe you don't think that you have what it takes to be that painter, that musician, um, even even spirit, even um, someone who's wants to go into um, spirituality. Maybe you don't feel like you have what it takes. Like you don't have the courage or the wisdom. So, what I'm saying is that with this sun card here, you have what it takes. You have that, and the nine of the Nine of Wands is only confirming that, that you have the strength, you have what it takes, you've built that armor already, you're going within, or you've gone within already, and you're merging, you're merging with your, your, your divine self, you know, you've got this angel up here overlooking the process, and the angels are here to help, you know, the angels, like I said before, are always here to help you, all you need to do is ask them, and they will help you free yourself from this Eight of Swords energy, of not feeling worthy, of like questioning everything. All right, let's get some, let's just get some clarifiers. So the sun spirit, can we, can we clarify the sun? Why is the sun here? Okay, okay, all right. Why is the sun here? Okay, we have the five of cups. Okay, loss of pleasure. So maybe something happened I'm not sure what, what could have happened in life. It'll be different for everyone. But the Eight of Cups, or sorry, this is the Five. Sorry, guys. The Five of Cups is all about having your emotions kind of um, f flow into something that's not going to give you anything back, okay? There's this kind of 
stagnancy. You, you're, you're, you're feeling empty a little bit. And so maybe there could have been a relationship or something that happened with regards to your emotions that, um, that has held you back from expressing this sun energy, expressing this confidence. The sun is the solar plexus chakra, right? That's what it represents. And that's all about confidence. So you're f maybe for the longest time, whatever emotional upheaval happened, you're feeling this lack of confidence because of that. But your spirit guides are trying to tell you that you have come to a place now where you no longer have to feel that way. You have the confidence. You have what it takes to move forward. Okay, I'm just going to move all these cards up because we need to make room for the clarifiers. All right, let's just clarify um, great strength. So we're going to clarify the nine of wands. Oh, there we go. Holy smokes, the princess of wands clarifying the nine. Now, the princess in the other traditional rider weight, I believe, is the uh, page of cups. Sorry, page of wands. Wands, sorry. Fire energy, come on guys, you can actually see it. So we have water energy here, we have fire energy, very alchemical here. There's a lot of transmuting happening, a lot of overcoming. And so this Princess of Wands, she is ready. This is the beginning, okay? Queen of Wands would be like, yes, I'm fully confident, I'm fully there. But the Princess is embodying this potential fire energy, this potential creativity. She has what it takes, but now she needs the experience. Now she needs the practice. And this great strength card is saying, I have the confidence. I have what it takes. Now let's take that, that leap of faith. We've gone within. Let's take what we've learned and create and manifest and express okay she's a very also i believe you know she's beautiful look at this girl she's absolutely stunning she's carrying a ram's head okay so she's she's ready to do the hard work she's ready to do what it takes she's clearly not afraid she's slain the her fear if you want to represent this as fear she's ready to move on so Let's clarify the hermit here. Also, you could say, too, that this is kind of a balancing of masculine here and feminine energy. Both fire, though. So, lots of creative expression is coming. All right, let's clarify the hermit here. We are going a little bit over, but that's okay. Let's clarify the hermit energy, please, spirit. Hermit doesn't want to say why it's there. Spirit, come on. Show yourself. <laughs> That's like what the Hermit is saying. Like he has his lantern and he's like, show yourself. Shadows, I'm not afraid of you. Spirit, why is the Hermit here? What are what are what are Pal One Spirit Guides trying to communicate? What are they trying to remind Pal One? Okay, that was like Four. That's too many, Spirit. Okay, that's too many. That's too many. Okay, we're gonna go with the Ace of Pentacles because that's the one that flipped over. Okay, so we have a new beginning. And we have a new beginning in the material realm. This is all about abundance. And like we like we showed with all the oracle cards, it was all about, you know, material abundance and that your generosity that you've been putting into others and you've been maybe putting into your creative projects, it's getting ready. You're getting ready to show this to the world. This is all about showing it in the physical dimension of our world. Okay? You've you've spent so much effort putting your time and energy into these gifts. I'm telling you, you're ready. You're ready to shine. You don't need to be afraid. You don't need to care what other people are saying. And I bet you that deep within, like, with inside anybody, they're probably like, oh my gosh. I'm scared for, like, all the amazing things that Pile One's going to do. Like, holy smokes. They're gonna, you're gonna do amazing things. If you already haven't already, like, I, I can't wait. Ace of Pentacles, my goodness. I, I would love to hear in the comments, like, if any of you are artists or if any of you or creatives of any kind, like what it is, what projects you've been working on, or what you're what you have been afraid to share with the world. Like, I'm really eager to know. Okay, so the lovers spirit. Can we clarify the lovers? What are the spirit guides trying to communicate with the lovers energy here? Oh, okay, that was very direct. Alrighty ready. Okay, so we have the six of swords here. So the Six of Swords, and it came out upright, pretty much all these cards did. 
Um, this is all about moving on from something, okay? So saying goodbye, it could be um, a person, it could be a particular belief system that you're abandoning or saying goodbye to, moving forward from. And, you know, you're moving on to to better better things, more beautiful shores. Like, it's an unknown, but at the same time, it's a refreshing of your outlook, your perspective. And so I think that with regards to everything that we've seen, this could be a relationship um, connection with regards to the lovers. It can also be within, too, that you're leaving behind an old way of doing things. So, for example, maybe you have been stabbing yourself um, in the mind, constantly overthinking of, like, oh, should I go forward with this project or should I not? You know, like, you're questioning it a lot. Maybe with the relationship element, you're questioning, should I go back to this relationship? And this card, this card is saying either you've already moved on from this relationship, you know? Over here it showed, like, the heartache, you know? The not putting, um, like, emotions into anything that gives you return. And here, maybe you're moving on from this particular relationship, but you're blossoming into a new reality where you are embodying this sun energy, this princess of wands energy, where you're crafting this new beginning. You know, this relationship may have forced you to go with inside yourself into this dark portals of your reality that, you know, most people don't want to look at, but this, this relationship or whatever might have gone awry in your life, like it's forced you to create this strength inside of you. And you have this strength now to come forward and become this, this princess and ultimately, I believe, a queen. So you have beautiful new beginnings awaiting you and I just can't wait to see what you create. So if you would share whatever, like if you feel comfortable sharing with me whatever like projects you're, you're doing or like what you've, what you've kind of gone through on your journey, like if you're interested, um, I would love to hear and I'm sure, I'm sure the community would too. So um, until next time, take care of yourselves. Try to be in the present moment. Drink water, breathe air, and just live life to the fullest. So, all my love. Bye! Hello there, Pile 2. If you chose this beautiful moonstone carved pendant, this is going to be your reading. And so I'm just going to put the pendant over here so we can keep that energy. So we're going to start with um, the oracle cards, which I pre-shuffled for you. And then we're going to get into some tarot cards, the heaven and earth tarot. Okay, so our first oracle card is from the Shaman's Dream deck, and I will link all the decks below in the description for you. Okay, so first we have Many Masks, the authentic self. Okay. So this is all about what your spirit guides are trying to communicate with you right now. And next we have, from the Wisdom of the Avalon Oracle, Communication. Okay. So, so far, I'm feeling like your spirit guides are telling you to communicate your authentic self. But that's taking it really literally, but let's see what else we get. Um, we also have the Wise Woman of Wonderland. So this is from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck. Here, I'm just going to put this one actually over here. Because you actually got two, two popped out from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck. So don't tell the other piles, but you guys got two. So this one says, Patience and Stillness. And this is the Resting Tree. It's beautiful. Okay. I'm not sure if we got to see the Wise Woman of Wonderland very closely, but there she is. And then we also have, uh, from the Moonology deck, a new romantic cycle begins. So if this wasn't um, necessarily meant to be a romantic reading, but spirit is clear, your spirit guides are clearly saying that this might actually be about a romantic um, situation. So I'm just going to put this like this, so you can mostly see it. This one's kind of hard to see. What if I put this one down here? I don't know. Sorry, guys. Okay. So what I'm getting from this is 
spirit guides are trying to tell you to embody your authentic self. And I think that they're trying to tell you to embody your authentic self in a relationship. Now, the communication actually might be with regards to a relationship. And maybe if you're having confusion about where you are in a particular relationship, maybe you've been, you know, off and on for a little while, maybe you haven't felt comfortable communicating how you truly feel, your spirit guides are telling you, please communicate. Please communicate authentically how you are feeling. Stop wearing the mask. Stop trying to show to this person, if this is indeed a person or people, stop showing this fake person, this matrix person that you've crafted. You know, our egos are really, really great at putting on a show because they're afraid of being hurt. But Spirit is saying, no, you have to find who your true authentic self is for this relationship to work. You have to communicate it if you want this to happen. Because Spirit's clearly saying that a new romantic cycle is about to begin. New Moon in Libra. Now this might be that this old relationship is going to fall away and be replaced by a new um, relationship in 2022. Or whatever year, of course. This is a timeless reading, so... The year right now is 2022, but it could be any year, for example. So, um, But regardless, your spirit guides are telling you that you need to communicate. And you need to communicate with integrity. And you might even need to compromise. But it's all about being honest. You have to be honest to yourself first and foremost, and then to this person or situation. Now, the resting tree is first and foremost about finding that um, inner peace. And that's, honestly, that's how you come to find who your authentic self is. I've noticed, like, in, in my own existence, like, it's really challenging to know who and what you are by crafting it for what people want to see, you know? Like, I always would try to, like, be what other people wanted me to be, but you have to try to figure out what your own inner voice is telling you. And the only way to do that is to find peace and to go within, to find time to meditate. And once you do that, you may in fact be able to come to a place of authenticity, come to a place of honesty with whatever relationship um, you have in question. Wow, this is really different from pile one. This is all about a relationship, but pile one was all about um, expression. So... Yeah, I'm not sure what else to add to this other than, like, you're ready. You're really ready to communicate that authentic person that I think that you've worked really hard to become. Okay, let's, let's, get, some, let's get some tarot messages. Or, sorry, some tarot. Okay, so I'm just going to take these away. We're just going to put... Okay, so we've got our communication. We'll put the mini masks on top. It's really hard to see this card. It's so, so white. Okay. Put it over there for now. Alright, so I did not pre-shuffle these tarot cards, so we're going to shuffle them on camera. Oh my good lord! Sorry guys, like, it just exploded. What do we have? The King of Cups. Okay, this... I wanted to say, like, what are your spirit guides trying to tell you, but this just... This feels like a relationship. I don't know. We'll see. You could be masculine or feminine, like... But this King of Cups energy, this is a divine masculine coming in, willing to give their love, willing to give um, their honesty, willing to give um, uh, their their guidance, their help, their, their, their heart to you, basically. Wow, his face is like, you can't see him, but here he is. King of Cups. That is some divine masculine, if I do say so myself. Okay, anyway, could look at you. Okay, his face is gone. Okay, let's get a second card, please, Tarot. For what are the spirit guides trying to communicate? Potentially about a relationship. But okay, here we go. The world. Oh my goodness, this is a beautiful card. So in some decks it's called the universe, but here it's the world. Wow, incredible. Okay, so this is like a completion of a cycle, but this is this is a person who is their authentic self. This is a person who is not afraid of anything. They are willing to share and 
just express themselves without any, like, this person is untamed, unafraid, you know, they are not afraid to show who they truly are. And maybe to this King of Cups, like, this is, this, this is a beautiful match right here, is all I can say. Okay. Anyways, this person is free to dance the dance of freedom. This person has found true and utter freedom in their authentic expression of themselves. So I'm really excited for you guys, pal, too. Like, I don't know what relationship you're going to be getting into or like rekindling, but this looks really beautiful so far. Okay, let's get another card spirit for this, for pile two and what their, oh, sorry, what their spirit guides are trying to communicate. I say that your spirit guides are trying to communicate that you're ready for a relationship or you're ready to, you're ready for the next stages of a relationship. Okay, what do we have? Ruin. Okay, this is the Ten of Swords. Now, don't be disheartened here, people. This is maybe a very important card to be aware of. So this is all about, you know, the, the swords are all about, um, like, the mind and um, communication in a way, like, analyzing ideas, logic, and whatnot. So ruin is all about, like, you know, ruining your own thoughts of, like, what your freedom, what your true, like, ultimate expression of, like, yourself could be. So this is, like, fear-based, basically, and I think that um, maybe for a time um, you might have been afraid to show your, your true self to the world, clearly with the many masks. Like, it's all about expressing the authentic self, and I think that maybe, like, a lot of us are afraid to express our authentic true selves, that we will be judged and ridiculed by those around us. Um, but with the world here, honestly, I really, I really don't think that, um, like, your logical analytical mind stands a chance against what you know to be true within yourself, okay? Like, in your other, um, oracle card, you got communication, so it's showing you that that is the way to go. Don't, don't keep questioning whether or not you should communicate your truth. You need to communicate your truth. You cannot be afraid anymore. That's what it's saying. All right. Bottom deck energy is the high priestess. Okay. So the priestess, the high priestess is all about going within. Okay. It's going deep within just the, into the subconscious. Um, elements of oneself, finding one's own inner voice, okay? And that's what we've been talking about, so this is really just confirming finding one's own authentic self and communicating that with the world, with your person, if you are with this King of Cups. So you need to go within and find your own internal oasis, your own garden where you can feel safe, where you can know truly who and what you are, that is how you will find balance that you need to communicate and become this world energy. This, this, this divine creature who is just expressing themselves without a care in the world. Okay? They trust their own inner voice. They're not afraid. All right, so let's move forward to just clarify some of these. Okay, let's clarify the King of Cups spirit. Actually, guys, sorry, I just need a quick, quick drink of water because... Oh. Oh. Maybe you guys, like, when you're trying to communicate with this person or you're, whoa, trying to communicate your truth, maybe you get, like, a dry mouth sometimes and you just are like I don't know what to say anyways you will know what to say I believe in you okay so clarifying the king of cups we have the princess of wands oh my goodness okay I'm sorry I just need to like show you guys this makes a beautiful union I don't know whether like one of you is like if you're the masculine or the feminine but I can just say these are some beautiful divine masculine feminine energies so we have the masculine with his emotions, and we have the queen, or sorry, the princess of wands with her fire energy. So this is very alchemical here. This is a creation of something new. And everything that we've been talking about is starting anew, right? We had the moonology card, which is a new romantic cycle begins. So this is really beautiful energy. This person could be a soulmate. Like, I think your spirit guides are honestly saying, like, this is, this is an incredible 
um, opportunity. This could be a friendship, but I mean, honestly, I'm getting relationship vibes. Just just from these, these characters here. Th this Princess of Wands is all about expressing her truth. She is not afraid, honestly. Like, she is carrying um, this ram's head, okay? You could even say that it's like Pan's head, so like the devil. She's overcome her fear. She is not afraid to move forward and start a new life. She's not afraid to express herself and her truth. She's dancing her dance of freedom. Well, she's about to anyways. I know in the Crowley deck, like, that's that's what she does. She's, she's dancing. But in this one, she's walking forward to something. Okay, sorry. That was way too many card spirit for what's next, so... Sorry, guys. Just going to... I've got, like, seven cards there. Okay. Let's clarify the world spirit. Why is the world here? What is the spiritual... Sorry. What are the spirit guides trying to communicate to pal to? Okay, this one flipped. Oh my goodness, the Knight of Swords. Okay, look at all of these court cards here that we're getting. Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords beside the Princess of Wands. <sighs> yeah, I'd say there's some definite divine union coming into play here. Okay, so... I think that... <laughs> If this was a what is this person thinking or feeling about you, this person is, like, coming forward, too. Like, I think that this, this your, your spirit guides are saying that whatever this other person in this relationship is, they are getting ready to communicate to. Or you are getting ready to embody this, um, this night energy, which is like, I'm coming forth and I'm getting ready to tell you my truth. Like, look at this guy. He is determined. Swords is all about, um, you know, analyzing and coming coming um, to terms with things with an analytical and logical approach, but it's all about communication, right? Swords, swords is the, um, with the element air, like it's all about communication. So this person is clearly coming forth to communicate. They are not afraid at all. Okay. There is some definite communication and authentic truth coming through on, on your side, pal, too, but also on this other person's side, too, I believe. Like, if you are the masculine, you're getting ready to open up emotionally. If you're the feminine, which, like, obviously we both have both feminine and masculine energies. And maybe you're balancing with the priestess here. You're balancing both of these energies alchemically. Like, you're getting ready to come forth with your expression, right? With the princess? Unafraid. Ready to give emotions. And ready to be open and honest and tell the truth. So... This is very fascinating. Okay. Why is Ruin here, Spirit? Like, I think we really need to clarify this one. Why is Ruin here? What is this fear? What is this an overanalyzing and just... Come on. Why is Ruin here? Oh, Spirit. You are being withholding, Spirit. Oh, okay. Come on. Come forth, Spirit. What are you trying to... Communicate with this ruin. This is a end of a cycle, though. Remember when it's a ten? This is the ten of swords. Uh, a cycle is coming to an end. So this overanalyzing, this this self-deprecating kind of energy here, it's ending with the truth of the night coming through. With that offer, potentially. I'm not sure if it's you that's going to give the offer or this other person. Spirit, why is Ruin here? Sorry guys, like, Spirit is just not communicating. <laughs> it's kind of funny because this, this is kind of all about, like, withholding and, like, kind of beating yourself up and stuff inside. And, like, Spirit's like, I'm not gonna tell you. Come on, Spirit. You don't have to play that game. Oh, there. <laughs> They're like, fine, I won't play. Here, what do we got? The Hierophant. Okay, this is crazy. So we have the Hierophant, which is a lot of a lot of readers talk about the Hierophant as being kind of this, um, you know, fam familial uh, being. So like, not a father figure per se, but like somebody who's willing to commit. You know, somebody who's willing to settle down and kind of start that that um, 
familial life. Um, I see it as a very spiritual energy. It's, it's basically like, you know, this, you've got this priest on the deck here. And then you have this priestess here. And to have them side by side together, that could actually be seen as some sort of familial relationship. So I think that whatever is coming into this, into your life, spirit, I think, I, sorry, pile two. I just called you guys spirit. I mean, you are spirit, but um, pile two, I think your spirit guides are trying to communicate with you and tell you that there is this divine masculine. There is this divine feminine energy that is coming forth. Okay. And I think that you are, you are coming into balance of these masculine and feminine energies within yourself which is going to allow you to find a counterpart who is also, you know, resonating uh, at a place where they have found balance between the masculine and feminine energies also, okay? Like, the Hierophant is all about teaching, being that kind of wise guide, that teacher, you know? And so, I really think that you're going to come to a place where you can share that truth, share that wisdom with someone else who will appreciate that. They will appreciate your authentic self. The Hierophant isn't afraid to share his truth. He's a, he's a guide. And maybe you have been a guide to this person, or this person has been a guide to you. Maybe this relationship has been a guide to help awaken your spiritual evolution. But I think that this relationship, whether it's a past relationship that has already happened and you're going to rekindle it, or this is a new relationship that's about to bloom, I see beautiful things coming for this. With the world here, this is a dance of freedom. This is, this is a unafraid of what the future holds because she knows that, she trusts that as long as she is her true divine authentic self, then destiny and fate will fall into a place where they're meant to be. So this is beautiful. There is some beautiful transformations coming through here. Finding that freedom, finding that ability to surrender to one's own inner voice. I can't wait. So I can't wait to just hear, like, if anyone wants to share um, below, like, in the comments, um, if they actually do have a relationship like this, I would love to hear if this confirms that. Um, if you are finding those elements inside of yourself, balancing that masculine and feminine energy, because there is a lot of counterpart energy here. Um, yeah, so I can't wait. I can't wait to hear from you guys. And I'm so excited for your transformation and what's to come for you guys in the future. So all my love to you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hello there, Pile 3. If you guys chose this beautiful um, carved pentacle pendant, then this is going to be your reading here. So I'm going to put this pendant over here, just so we can keep its energy nearby. And we are going to start off with your oracle cards here. And then we're going to get into some tarot cards as well. So these are the Heaven and Earth tarot. And so we're going to start with these. Um, the first... Uh, oracle card is from the Shaman's Dream Oracle, which just came out. It's These cards are so beautiful, but their messages are also equally beautiful. Um, we have the Farther Gate, Bold Step Forward. So this is all about what your spirit guides are trying to communicate to you. And then we have from the... what's this one? This one's from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms, the Ice Queen. Okay, so this one actually came out to me reversed, so I'm just going to put it, like, sideways, <laughs> just so you can kind of still read it. Um, okay, and then, from the Wisdom of the Avalon, this is Movement. Okay, put that one there. And actually, two Moonology cards came out. So for kind of some of the piles, we had two Oracle cards of the same come out. They just flew, so I'm not going to... Um, only pick one, I'm going to pick two, because clearly Spirit has something to say. So, the first one is, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. So, I'm just going to put that one kind of up here. And then, 
the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. All right, so pile three. Sorry about this whole layout here, guys. It's kind of weird. I'll just put this one upright, even though it's supposed to be reversed. I'll just put it with this little guy on it to remind. And then... Yeah. That's not too bad. Okay. So, the farther gate. This is all about taking, obviously, a bold step forward. It's taking a leap of faith, okay? You've come so far and you're finally ready. You've gained that courage and you're ready to take the next step, okay? Unafraid. Because you've come through something. Now, it'll be different for everyone, but you've come through something. It could be a really troubling relationship that you've, that you've come through and ended. It could be, you know, some sort of financial burden that's, that's going to end and you're going to be coming into abundance. It could be that you've been working really hard on a project and you're about to see that this project is going to come to fruition. So it could be many things. Um, the movement card, obviously, is all about taking um, what chances you can get. You know, moving forward, moving out of any stagnant energy, moving forward from any stagnant relationships, any stagnant, um, you know, job um, opportunities that you haven't um, maybe been working through well. Um, yeah, it's about it's about taking <laughs> taking a bold step forward, taking the leap, and just and just going for it, and looking at the bigger picture. So not dwindling on the on the small things in life, you know. This, interestingly enough, the Ice Queen reversed is a challenger card. So it it says ideas preserved, non action and um, entitlement. So this card is all about attachment. It's about holding on to things that no longer serve you, which I find really fascinating um, to have this card come out reversed and then have all these other cards that are all about, you know, taking that leap, taking that new perspective on life and just engaging with it, looking at the bigger picture and saying, you know what, this is no longer serving me anymore. This, this, this tough cycle, you know, you're, you're done it. You're, you're ready to move forward. It's no longer serving you, and you're you're seeing things from a different perspective. You're seeing all of the nooks and crannies of life in a new way, okay? And you're ready to take the movement. You're ready to do what it takes to to move forward from whatever situation you were in. I don't know whether it was romantic. I don't know whether it was to do with career um, or spirituality or creativity. Like I'm not sure. We'll 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 maybe figure that out with the tarot cards. But this. This card is literally about releasing um, perspectives, releasing things that no longer serve. You know, we as humans get really attached to certain people, certain places, certain, certain objects, situations. We hold on to past memories that no longer serve us. Because we keep thinking that, oh, there might be more growth here to learn, there might be more growth. But you're done learning about this particular thing, you're ready to move forward. Okay, you've gained that new perspective, you're not afraid, and you need to relinquish control over, over holding on to these, maybe, maybe it's a negative thought pattern, maybe it's a relationship, but you need to surrender and let go of these things, because you are, Spirit is trying to say that you are this divine being, you're not necessarily your name, you're not necessarily how much money you have, or who you're with, you're not necessarily these things. I mean, you're not these things. You're a multidimensional being. With all the power in the world, you just need to believe. You need to release these negative thought forms, release these old behavior patterns, and move forward. So, sorry guys if that was a little bit of a lecture. All of these piles have been really, really different, so I'm really excited to see what comes out in your tarot. Okay, I'm just going to move these guys out of the way. I'm going to keep movement on the top because that just seems kind of like an important card to keep. Put that there. Okay, now just going to take a quick sip of water and then we're going to get into your tarot. Okay. So, whoa! Alright. It's too many spirit. What are Pile three's spirit guides trying to communicate with Pile 3? What are Pile three's spirit guides Trying to communicate. Okay, what is our. Ooh. 
we have the Queen of Swords. Alrighty. Well, this lady is all about moving forward. This lady, she is unafraid. You know, she has the potential. She has what it takes. Sorry, guys. Battery is dying. I'm just going to recharge quickly. I'll come right back. Okay, so like I said, you know, you're cutting away attachments. You're moving forward. You're being open and honest with your direction in life. Unafraid to take that leap of faith. Communicating openly and honesty, honestly. Alright, so we're going to ask... I'm going to get a bit more tarot. Spirit, what are your spirit guides? Oops. Trying to communicate. What are your spirit guides trying to communicate with you, pile three? Oh, come on, spirit. Whoa, there we go. We have the Princess of Pentacles. Another court card there. Okay. So it looks like there is, like, by leaping into the new and taking that courageous leap forward into new territory, you are going to build, start building a new life, a new kingdom, okay? This princess of pentacles, she is beginning her journey. She is beginning to lay down her roots and start a new, um, a new life. All right, so, spirit, and that's from the open honesty of the queen of swords. She is taking away her masks, you know, she is no longer afraid to show her true self. Okay, pile three, please, Spirit. Why? What is Spirit Guides trying to communicate? That is so many. Okay, sorry, that's too many, Spirit. Spirit. What are pile three Spirit Guides trying to communicate with pile three? There we go. We have the star. Okay, so if we were talking about an energy that is basically <laughs> becoming one's own self, um, free and untamed to be their authentic true self, this is it. This is, so you're leaping forward, moving into this new energy of embodying your true self. And that's kind of like what Pile 2 um, was talking about. Pile 2 was all about, you know, removing masks and becoming um, that true authentic self. And here you have taking the bold step forward. Okay, so once you've removed those masks of who you were, you're ready to embody this star-like energy, this being of divine light, okay, that's ready to guide others, that's ready to um, express and create their reality, the reality of their dreams, basically. And on the bottom deck energy, we have the Fool. This is incredible. Okay, guys. No, seriously, the Fool is all about literally taking a leap of faith. You know, unafraid. They're, they're, they're not afraid. Look, there's this wolf at the bottom looking like... He looks kind of like he might bite her. I don't know. And she's like, I don't care. I don't care. She doesn't care what obstacles stand in her way. Or he. You know, I'm not sure. They don't care what other people might think. They're ready to take that leap of faith. They're courageous. Okay? This new dimension that you're entering into, there's, there's a hint of fear, but look at what's going to come. Look at this queen of, of swords energy here. You're ready to battle whatever comes forth for you. You have the grounding that you need. You're building that new... Um, that new safe haven within yourself and in your 3D reality so that you can shoot up like a shining star into the sky. This woman doesn't have a top because she doesn't care what others think. She's just letting the stars bathe her in their light and she's just like, I'm one with the divine, I'm one with my essence. You're going to be a, co a, condu sorry, a conduit for the divine light in your life. Okay? Let's get some clarifiers for these energies, because this is really beautiful, Pile 3. This is so beautiful. Magical. I love it. Oh, and below... Sorry. I just like to look sometimes below the um, bottom deck. So, we have... 
Oh, this is beautiful. It's the Seven of um, Cups, so it's illusionary success, but that doesn't mean sometimes illusions are helpful guides in a way because they help to steer you away from certain things to other things. It helps you to learn what you truly want in life and go with it. So as you're on your journey, you know, leaping into the unknown, you may come across things that, you know, don't resonate with you, but you'll feel it, you'll know it because you're in touch with your divine essence. All right, sorry for that tangent there, pile three. Let's get a uh, Queen of Swords clarifiers. What are Pile Three Spirit Guides trying to communicate? Pile Three Spirit Guides. What are they trying to? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, so we have the Devil as the clarifier for the Queen of Swords. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Now, the Queen of Swords, like we said before, is all about communicating one's own truth. Maybe there is this essence inside of you. It could be... We could interpret this in a couple ways. Spirit's saying, maybe there is something, some attachment that you have. Because we see, we saw over here in your Oracle cards that there was um, an attachment. The Ice Queen was all about attachment and kind of greed and like holding on to something. Um, the Devil kind of is like that attachment, that addiction uh, mentality where you can't let go of something because it fulfills a certain desire. And so maybe there's something in your life that's been fulfilling a certain desire, a certain craving that you need. And the Queen of Wands is all about overcoming that. Okay, it's moving forth from that devil energy and finding her own power within, not needing to look outside of herself for that, um, that uh, inspiration or guidance. We'll come back more to that in a moment. Let's get a clarifier for the Princess of Pentacles, which in the Rider right Away Tarot, I believe, is... The, whoa! Spirit, that's too many. Um, the Knave of Pentacles, but Princess in this deck. Okay, alright, okay. Spirit, what are we going to do for the Princess of Pentacles? We had way too many flyers there, so... I just want to get, like, one if that's possible. For the Princess of Pentacles, why is the Princess of Pentacles here, Spirit? What, what does Pile Three Spirit Guides trying to communicate? It's a pile, it's a, oh, there we go. Okay, we have, okay. The, the Nine of Swords, I believe. Yeah, the Nine of Swords. Despair and cruelty. Okay, so this is all about confusion. This is all about um, kind of like beating yourself up, criticizing yourself for not um, for not taking a step forward. So maybe for a long time you were debating about what to do. You were like, do I go this way? Do I go this way? Do I go this way? Where do I put my energy? And you've been just like kind of like in a loop, in a circle of just like hurting yourself mentally because you're just like, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to put my energy. And so this Princess of Pentacles is saying, you do know where, you, where to put your energy. Once you move forward, you will know where to put it. You will know what resonates with you in this new kingdom that you're going to build for yourself. But you have to let go of the old. You have to let go of the old ways of thinking because they're not getting you anywhere. You need to overcome this limited belief system that you have that maybe you're not good enough, you're not worthy enough to become this star. But you are. You have to take this leap of faith. That's how you'll move forward from this um, despair and cruelty that you've maybe been living in. You know, and that could be because of this devil energy here. Because when you have addictions, when you have these attachments to things outside of yourself, you're constantly feeling... Um, like you're not good enough. And then the only way to make you feel good is to go back to that addiction. So I don't know if there are some people in this group that are suffering from addiction. Um, that can be extremely, extremely challenging to overcome, to go within and find one's own um, inner guide and to take, you know, a leap of faith into something new in their life. It's like, well, it's easier to go back to what I already know. You know, that's the safe bet. You know, it's easier to go back to 
like maybe it could be alcohol, it could be a relationship, it could be drugs. It could be just limiting belief systems that you have about yourself, but there is so much more waiting for you, Pile 3. There's so much more waiting for you out there once you let go and surrender and jump into this new reality that you have waiting for yourself. You can move forward. I know because <laughs> it's taken me a lifetime, but I, <laughs> it's possible is all I'm saying. Okay, so we have the star, so let's just clarify the star quickly. Why is the star here? Oh, that was fast. Okay, we have defeat. So this is the five of swords. Okay, so again, this is all about feeling defeated inside. Now, maybe you look here like this guy here. He looks like he's defeated these other people. And he's the one with all the swords now. And the other ones are like, oh no, I've, I've lost. I've lost all hope. Maybe you feel like something has taken all of your hope and all of your dreams away. Maybe it was some sort of addiction or attachment that just keeps sucking and sucking your energy away. But, but Spirit is saying, you have so much power inside of you. Once you connect to the divine being of who and what you are, like, you are beautiful, Pile 3 is all I can say. Like, you are just absolutely beautiful. And you know what's actually kind of interesting? Look, we have the star in the pendant and the star here confirming that you truly are a shining star. And I can see it here, and I really hope that you can see it too. And you will get through this. You will get through whatever attachment or whatever thing you are feeling like you can't move forward from. You can. Spirit is trying, your spirit guides are trying to say that you can move forward, that you don't need to be afraid because so much beauty awaits you. So much powerful energy, creativity, love, it's all awaiting you once you embrace this new start. But you have to let go. And it's hard. It's so, it's the hardest thing to let go and move forward into the unknown. Because it feels safe to be, it sometimes even feels safe to be in a situation where you're being hurt. Because you know that hurt, you know that pain, you're familiar with it. But that doesn't mean that it is going to keep serving you. Your spirit guides are here to help you. They're here to guide you. And they are saying that you need to let this go. Whatever it is, whether it's a person or a situation, or just, like I said, some old way of looking at things, you need to move forward. You need to stop defeating yourself. Every time you try to move forward, you're like, oh no, I'll fall back to this. Oh no, I need this, this devil. No, laugh at the devil. Say, I don't need you. I don't need you. I have myself. I have what it takes. I'm connected to my divine. I'm connected to my true self and the power within. And I know that I can handle any storm. I have the courage. Okay? Let's look back at these oracle cards just, just to remind us. Ice Queen. Letting go. Okay? Letting go of attachments. We have... Look at the bigger picture. Okay, so don't get stuck on the small stuff. Look at the bigger picture. What is most important in your life? Fire energy, by the way. Sagittarius. Full moon in Sagittarius. And we have movement again. Movement. So move forward. End of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn, guys. Like I said, this tough cycle that you have been going through, it's ending. You are here now to take this leap of faith. I can't... It's crazy. Like... It's incredible that you got this bold step forward and also the fool. Like this, this is just a sign that you guys are so ready and I'm so excited for you guys to take this step forward. This is beautiful, Pile 3. Like this is just so beautiful. And you're going to become this shining star for yourself and for everyone around you. So, <laughs> oh, beautiful. Okay. Well, all my love to you, you guys. I can't wait to see what it what it is that you create if you want to share down below like anything about your own journey that you've been going through i'd love to hear it and i'm sure others would love to hear what you've been going through because pile three you guys are all clearly sharing in something together right so you're here for each other i'm here for you guys and i just i can't wait for you to come into your power 
because you are so powerful. Pile 3, it's just incredible. You're beautiful, you're powerful, and inspirational. And it's just, oh, I can't wait to see the magic you create. Okay, anyway, I love you guys, and I just hope, I hope that you can find that, that strength inside yourselves to take on this leap of faith. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye!